Before looking at the results, let's look at what it took to acquire the data. Since I had done a channel setup and camera setup before, I came directly into the acquisition task. Here, I entered the length of time that I want to make the recording for, the frequency range, the distance to the source service, then enter some metadata, data about the data, test object, what are the test conditions, enough information that I'll know what this run was later when I go back to look at it. I hit activate and start. In this case, since save automatically is checked, the data is saved automatically, a calculation is added that we'll see in a second, and the calculation is started automatically. Fit to camera view really doesn't apply here. Since this was a new setup, a new sphere location, I did not check reuse pictures. In this case, taking 12 USB cameras takes longer than the three seconds measured. If I had done multiple measurements, maybe different speeds if we were driving, different engine conditions, I could check this and it would decrease the length of time that acquisition would take. We're now in the post-processing software where we can look at results. First let's go to calculate, then select the calculation and we can see that the calculation finished by the little check mark. Go to the calculation setup and then we can select any one of the channels. This is the, the time recording for the 36 channels on the sphere and we can listen to that microphone. Next we'll go to the results tab, then just drag and drop the calculation into the display. What we've got on the inside of the vehicle is 180 degrees from North Pole to South Pole, rotated around the equator of the sphere 360 degrees, then unwrapped into a 2D picture. So you can see the beeper here in the, the, in the glove box, if I change the frequency range a little bit. You can see my phone on the driver's door here playing the, the frogs. Well, how do we know this was really the, the frogs and the beeper wasn't in the other place? We can listen to that spot. So click on it and play. So now you hear frogs, no beeper. Here, we'll click on this spot. Now you hear a beeper, no frogs. What's happening here, it takes the 18 microphones that point at this location and does a delay in sum on that point and then filters it over the frequency band that we have and then plays that. So at this location, we only hear beeper. At the other location, we only hear the frogs. And that's how easy it is to find sources inside a vehicle. Thank you.